Hey. Hey man, welcome to August 13th. How you doing? You doing good? Alright, I like that. And, um, hey, this is very dark because I'm in a not even dark room and I'm tired, but I'm, I'm getting tired of stuff. Um, I was like, you know what? I haven't taken melatonin in like a week. Let me try that out. I do need to get to bed, and you know, the more sleep I get, the more optimized I'll be. So let's try out some melatonin. So I pop the melatonin. You know, within an hour, I feel it. Oh yeah, I can go down. It's like the it's that good tired. You know, when you you've been up for like fifteen hours, your body's just like, ah, all right, I'm cool. I lay down. So I pass out. Two hours later, I wake back up. I don't even feel tired anymore. I got the craving for something to eat though, because I haven't ate in a while. So, I got one of these Fiber One bars here. Probably can't see it, because, like I said, I have a light on and you can't see me for shit. Right. It's actually really good though. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. The only thing about these bars that I don't like is the sugar. Um, you know, I'm not a big sugar guy personally. However, there is quite a bit of fiber, and I do like fiber. These bars are weird, though. Like, if you compare it to, like, say, uh, like a Hostess or a uh, Little Debbie, like one of those, what would you consider those? They're not candy bars. They're not candy themselves, or they're just, like, sweets, I guess you'd call them. You know, like Ho-Ho's and Zebra Cakes and stuff like that. These Fiber One bars are similar to those, but they're not. You know, they are they are better for you. But I don't know about how much. That's the question. Ah, but I gotta say, man, I'm loving it. This one is the Lemon Bar. Uh, yeah. It's a Lemon Bar. It's not bad. It expires on March 2014. Not bad. I don't know, man. I got the craving for something in me. And these bars are only 90 calories, so... I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. But what I'm hoping is... After I eat this bar, and I finish this video... I can lay down... And just magically fall asleep. I'm hoping that, but I probably won't be able to. In which case, I am a little, uh... I don't know. I'm in that state where I feel tired, but I'm not tired, you know? And I'm awake enough to be aware of stuff. But, I don't know. Ooh, that's a good bar. I don't know. I, oh yeah, I gotta talk about my bike. So I got my bike for my birthday last month. Everything's cool, loving it. I love the bike, it's full good. And I'm driving around, and uh... Well yesterday I was like, I noticed that it was starting to squeak a bit whenever I pedaled, so I was like, what's going on here? Maybe we just gotta oil it up, you know, do a little maintenance on it. So, we oil it, we oil it up. Uh, I'm like taking it out, still riding it around just to make sure the oil is uh, making it work a little better. And then I I realized when I picked it up that uh, it's a, it's got a unishock, I believe it's called. All right, unishock, yeah. It's got like a central like shock in the middle, and then it's got like the the shocks up on the fork up in the front, and the uh, the the middle shock and like right under your seat. The um, it's supposed to be like standing up, sort of. But this thing was, like, completely just, like, sitting down, just, like, dead. Um, the shock no longer worked. So, s apparently I, like, did something to it. I guess I worked it too hard or something, and that error was defective. I still haven't figured that out yet. But, 
We took it back to Walmart. Walmart's really cool, their return policy. And uh, they actually had like two box, two bikes left in stock, so they just said, yeah, go on up back, grab one, bring it up front. Bing, boom, boom. And then, bam, it was like that. We had it. Which, uh, I took it up for a ride this morning. Eh, nothing major, just a 20 mile ride, but... Eh, it's It's working better. I might have to loosen it up a bit, though, because even in the low gears now, uh, you know, basically before, what would happen is I'd be in the first three gears, you had a, you had a like, light pedal, basically. It was, it was perfect for going uphill. It didn't take much. You, you pedal a lot to get going, whereas the higher gears, you got to pedal hard to go. Th those are, like, light pedals where you just got to, like, kick really fast, like, just, like, pedal your ass off. And that's cool. That's cool. Um, but right now, basically, gear three feels like um, probably like gear nine or ten on the old bike. So I'm still getting a little used to it, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I am. I am. <sighs> this is called the dark, the dark, the dark frizz log. The um, the frizz dark log. The dark, darkened frizz log. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What else is going on? I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to see if I can actually see myself in the camera, but I don't think I can. I see, like, my silhouette, but I don't think I see anything else. If so, I don't know. I see my foe over there. Hello. Seizure. That's the weird thing about my foot, is I get foot cramps really easily. So I like to try to move it around as much as possible but that usually leads to the foot cramp so I'm actually treading on thin water here it feels cool though it looks weird doesn't it oh my god what is that is that a rare worm it is oh no I gotta end up boop